So we harvested the broccoli about two weeks ago. Or well, maybe three, I don't know. Let's, um, I'll show you the pictures. Um, and we already have new bulbs forming. Um, I saw this in one of Rob's videos. Very nice. Here's something that I really like. I left one to go to seed. Uh, we have butterflies and bees humming about. Something nice to watch, I guess. The cowley flower, which was here, did not do so well. We eventually took it out. Okay, let's have a look inside the greenhouse. It's a bit of a jungle in here and insanely hot. I'm harvesting tomatoes on a daily basis. I'm jarring for the winter or canning I think is the right term. Um, cooking soup, making salad. The cucumbers don't like the heat in here. I have already a fan here running usually. The door to the greenhouse is always open but uh, as you can see the leaves are yellowing and uh, sometimes the plants just can't keep up with the water supply. Um, on average I'm harvesting nine cucumbers a week. I quite frankly can't see them anymore. I'm handing them off to friends and family and neighbors. Yeah, this tomato plant is growing uh, like six, six feet up, or well, maybe five feet up and five feet down again. And I'm definitely gonna keep seeds from this one because it's doing great. There's lots and lots of tomatoes on here and um, it just keeps going. I've decided not to prune anything anymore and I'm just gonna leave it there, leave it at that for the rest of the season. See what happens. My miniature cukes, Mexican miniature cucumbers, are finally producing. Uh, at first they would produce this little fruit and they wouldn't mature and just fall off once you touch them. Now these are look like watermelons and um, taste like cucumbers with a little bit of uh, sour flavor to it. Very crunchy. Mm. But I like them. Yeah. I had some trouble with my aquaponic tomatoes. Not so happy with those. Um, um, my water level is only about 12 centimeters. So I don't think they have enough water for the roots left. Um, and uh, the through flow is not big enough. So uh, I had the roots rotting on me and uh, that cost me a lot of fruit. Okay, the pepper jungle is uh, producing peppers like crazy. I have to tie up these plants, otherwise they'd fall down. Let's see if we can't find uh, a few good ones. Oops, I dropped one. Okay, these are uh, uh, snacking peppers so they only get on to this side at uh, size um, over here are the mini 
tomatoes. They're doing fine, but they're about done, I guess. Once I harvest them, I'm gonna harvest the rest of them, I might say. Um, I'm just gonna pull them out. This is Pak Choi, which has gone to seed. I'm gonna show you how it collects seeds in a few minutes. Um, yeah, this was a, a sucker. I root it and it's growing like crazy. It's, it's like the centerpiece of this uh, greenhouse. And it's about two, two meters and 50 high. And uh, yeah, I start pruning it. All right, so I unfortunately had a pump failure or a power outage and lost uh, a lot of tilapia. Hello goldfishies! Yeah, as I said, I had a hundred tilapia in there, small ones, and I lost about uh, three quarters of them. I was like, yeah, I was about to cry. Right, other than that, um, it's still going, no plant losses. That would have been even more sad. Alright, changing scenes. Hey, da unten ist, glaube ich, da in links der Hügel. Okay, so what you do is you wait until the stems where the flowers occur dry up and then uh, the seeds should be in those pots. Oh, there you go. Already broke off. And it's building all this heat out. That's how uh, the plant actually then distributes its seeds. Um, some disturbance occurs and uh, so those pots just burst open and spill all the seed out. So I did this already um, with a few pots. And there you have all those black pearls. Those are the ready to go seeds. You just put them in a jar. I like to use anything that's left over. Just put it in, label it, and use it next year. So, let's see how much we can get out of this. Okay, so if I count correctly, these are 174 seeds out of one plant. That's not too bad. It's a bit of work, but I think it's worth it. Right, I'm gonna leave it at that and uh, see you next time. If you like what you saw, please subscribe or leave a comment. I'm open to questions. Bye bye.